Oh my God, these smell so good. Why haven't we done chocolate cakes yet? Every time we've done this to that, we've done vanilla cakes and I am here for the chocolate. Oh, I've got icing all over. I'm here for the chocolate this week. Also, I noticed a couple things. I usually scrape off the tops and sides of the cake to prep it to turn it from this into something else and then realize that I always end up just cutting out cake circles and don't use anything with the sides anyway, so we can skip that step. <laughs> Look how high this corner is compared to how droopy this one is. I know, bakers, it's not your fault, don't worry. Same dealy type thing, but not. So I'm doing a double barrel cake because Kev said I did too many two-tier cakes and that was just more of the same with two-tier cakes with some flowers why, on it. Why is it always me? Because why when I'm just <laughs> Kevin said this or Kevin did that. Because when I'm designing the cakes, you're the one who's like, really? Do you think people are going to care about seeing another two-tiered cake with some flowers on it? I was like, well, what should we do? He's like, why don't you do one of those fancy double barrel wedding cakes? It's like, okay. And this is gonna be the thing. When we're done this video, you guys are gonna have to let me know if it looks like a wedding cake or just a fancy birthday cake. Cause to me, a single tier cake, it's just not a wedding cake. I don't know why the chocolate cake is so much taller than the vanilla cake, but I feel like we've got a lot more height happening. Um, and height is going to be an issue this time that hasn't been an issue before because I got edible images printed from the grocery store because we're gonna wrap it, the whole cake, in like an edible image to give that like imprint look. But the height of the cake can't be more than this. Also, thanks to everybody who was commenting what color I should dye my hair. A big one was purple again, and then the other one was blue. Apparently blue is like impossible to get out of your hair and is like a giant commitment. So I figured we'd go with purple for now. I have time to go before. You might as well. I've got lots of cakes that I've got to like carve through and I just feel like I'm playing with it at this point and getting it all over my hands. He just finished his cereal and now you're just gonna dive right into the... Mm. <laughs> Let's just see what the height of the cake is without a cake filling in there. I feel like I can get another layer in. All this extra cake, it doesn't get thrown out. I stack it all up and put it in containers and then we freeze it and we eat some and we send the rest to my brother because he loves these cakes. So he just eats the, the rest of it. Say, say that again, I heard your tummy gurgle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That is a tall cake. It's probably too tall. Probably. I, I just don't know how to like size it up for the edible image because I've worked with edible images but only to like stick it on the top of the cake. I have never wrapped a cake in an edible image. So figuring out how to do the height so that way this is cut to the height so you wrap it around and there's no like extra cake or too little cake or something. I'm a little bit Who, fuzzy. What kind of people ask for a picture of somebody on a cake? Like what, what occasion is that for? Like, I don't know. Saying, Here's your face on a cake. I think just everybody used to do that. Like when my mom celebrated her 50th, like I got her big ice cream cake with her face on it. Cause it was just like, <laughs> here's, here's a cake with your face. Cause it's your birthday. And I think it's just something that everybody did for the longest time. And now we're all like, hey, you can do other things with cake. So by the time I add the filling in there and I trim the edible image and you have the icing on the top, I think I'm at least gonna have to lose one layer. So why don't I just like scoop that one layer off now? I think I'm gonna add the fillings in and see where we're at with the height because since I was I was in a chocolate mood this week, I was like chocolate cake, chocolate icing, and for the filling, I got like chocolate two bite brownies that we're gonna like chop up and add in. To me, I feel like it's gonna be too chocolatey, but I'm also really excited and here for it. I'm thinking we can just do a layer of this chocolate icing, kind of like the rest of it, and then add in chunks of brownie. I'm just thinking of like crumbling it on. Like I wanna keep those big, thick chunks of brownie. I'll just cover it with some more icing. This is the point where I need to tear it because it's gonna get way too tall. And if I don't tear it, what's gonna happen is that top weight of the cake is gonna keep pushing down. Not very It bulgy. bulges. Not very much though. When in doubt, just tear it out and trim that down a little bit more. I just buy these silver kind of carver cake boards and then I carve them down a bit and I'm looking for it to be the same size as the cake. My circle, my little carver circle is perfectly round, but the cake is, the cake's questionable. I feel like we can fix it though. We'll carve it up a little bit. 
We'll add some icing to the outside. It'll look beautiful. Before I get into the next step, I want to thank Best Fiends for sponsoring this video. If you guys have been following my channel for a while now, you will know I am a long time fan of Best Fiends. Like best friends, but without the R. I get bored quickly, whether I'm sitting in the car or just watching TV, so I am big on games. I love this one because it's a relaxing puzzle game that also challenges you to strategize through the different levels. It's a pretty chill game, so I can focus right into it or play it while I'm like half distracted. It's an adventure puzzle game where you collect and level up adorable fiends that you then battle during match three puzzle games. The more you level up your fiends, the more powerful they are, and each unique fiend has their own set of powers helping you get through the puzzles. You can swap between your favorite fiends depending on which one you think is gonna help you most with that particular level. Each level has its own requirements you need to tackle, making each one unique and fun to try to get through. Every time you match something, it powers your fiend to attack the slugs. The bigger the match, the bigger the attack. I'm not gonna lie, I get pretty proud when I can like line everything up perfectly, like exploding a big bomb and get a huge score. Once you find a few games in a row, it gives you extra moves, giving you even more chance to get through the level. You guys can download Best Fiends for free using the link in my description and get $5 worth of diamonds and gold for free when you beat level five. So I've realized the height of the cake can be seven inches because I think by the time I cut it off, it should be around seven inches and that should be okay. It's six inches, but I didn't tear it. I just put cardboard in the cake. What is the matter with me today? I'm sitting here being like, oh, the importance of tearing. And I just like add some cardboard to the cake and be like, see when you push down. Don't <laughs> listen to me and the things that I do. I need, you need to add supports. So that way the cardboard, the cake's on the supports. I'm just gonna stop giving advice and just try to do this. I'm just using double tea straws because I have a stack of them left. But once I go through this, I'm going to, I think, switch over to dowels that's more environmentally friendly. Now you put the cardboard on, and now the weight is all on the cardboard. Now, now we're doing it. I don't know what to do with this layer. This layer is the most wonkiest layer. If the cakes are doing this, and they're also doing this. <laughs> There's just a lot going on. Okay, let's do, I'm gonna do one more layer of brownie. Last layer. I feel like that height is gonna be right. We measured it, um, the edible image, it's seven and a quarter regardless. Like that edible image from here to here, it's seven and a quarter. So measuring up, we're at seven, giving me a quarter inch of icing on the top. I think we're good. I don't know why it looks so chunky and horrible. Oh my God. I'm just gonna kind of go around it with a small serrated knife. That's gonna kind of take out some of these bulges, some of the cracks like, where it's dipped in more, that can just be filled with icing. By the time we get the crumb coat on there, it'll be good. I need to clean up the cake board, but that's definitely a lot more round. I just, I wanna level the top because it's mighty wonky to start off with. It's shaping up though, right? Happy to say we are finally done with the sticky part of the video. The table is clean. And I'm gonna ice the outside of my cake in white icing because I'm hoping the white will make it so the edible image any like flowers or anything will kind of stick out on it so it's not just black. I'm just going to give my cake a light coating of icing all around it for a little crumb coat. I wish I found this tool earlier in life, just like a giant straight edge, because it works so perfect. Now it doesn't look like a hot mess and actually looks like we're ready to do a proper cake. I think I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and let it set though and I can do the thicker coat of icing because we also have to get the edible image ready because I want to make sure the icing is sticky enough that it sticks to the edible image. I can just see him in the bottom of the frame just like blending into the cushion. <laughs> he looks so cozy. Okay, I need to get, give the cake a thicker coat of icing. I'm just gonna do white icing on it because you're not gonna see it with edible image. I haven't really introduced Archie. Um, that, that right there is down there. Oh, he's curled up in a little ball. <laughs> That's Archie and we've had him for about two weeks. We adopted him from a family member and we're just really excited to have him. Um, I'm planning like maybe Instagram accounts for him and maybe some like dog treat videos. He is an eight year old golden doodle. Um, I feel like he's kind of like a cat dog. He has a bit of burst of energy, but for the most part, he is just a cuddle monster. I'll, I'll paste some pictures somewhere here where you can see him just like being super cuddly but I feel like he's the perfect combination of like energy and like love. I don't know if everyone's been taking my tips to go get icing at the bakery department in a grocery store, but our local grocery store 
stop giving us icing. Last time, well for this cake, I went in and they're just like, sorry, we don't do that anymore. Either I did it too much or everybody's been going or it's just a coincidence, but they wouldn't give me icing so I had to go to a different grocery store. So this is the picture I wanted to print. It has like a lot of black and color on it. This is what they originally gave me, which like if you can see the contrast in color, it's so green. Look how green it is. So I went back in the store and I asked them if they could reprint it again. They said the black tends to go greener, so heads up on that. But they did reprint it and I, I feel like you can see the difference. The main contrast for me when you're looking at that is look at the flower. See how green that is compared to this white flower? That's where I'm seeing a lot of that green tone that came through. <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> I know all I have to do right now is just like trim it. But like, I'm worried about trimming it the wrong size because I don't really want to go back to the store and have them printed again. You got it. I got it. You got it. I got it. So I want to make this image as wide as it can be. I can cut it with scissors, but I have this little handy paper cuttery thing. So I figured why not use it? So I'm trying to make sure I'm cutting off that white. I was a little worried it would like tear and rip, but that is a nice clean line. So when I Photoshopped the image, I just wanted to like crop it so that way there wasn't flowers everywhere. Um, so it looks like this will be a clean seam. Either way, there's gonna be a seam and I know that, but I wanted to try to make it so there wasn't flowers overlapping. So I just kind of did that. Everyone's been calling me, um, a bit dramatic in the comment section. <laughs> it's accurate. I'm a very dramatic person. What if it doesn't work? What if I rip the image? What if I get it all crinkled? What if I now need to go back to the grocery store and print a new one? What if they won't print me a new one? What if they're gone for the day and now I can't get a new one now the icing's on the cake? What if? And my mind just goes to all those places and I start freaking out. Oh boy. Don't, Kevin. Oh boy. Kevin, don't. Okay, oh. bottom. <gasps> Kevin, I don't. Okay, I'll stop. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, we're doing it, we're doing it. Oh, huh? Oh my God. What, what are you looking at? I'm looking at the fact that I don't think that both edible inches are gonna fully cover the side of this cake. Is it not long enough? I feel like it might not be long enough. Oh my God, all right, well whatever. It's a grocery store cake. Well, I've got these little pieces that are the same color. So if there is a gap, maybe I can fill it in. That looks so good. What about the other side? I can't see the other side yet. Oh, yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 right? Anxiety. That'll be the back. That'll be fine. It's definitely not perfect. I mean, it's still amazing compared to what we started off with, and it's a very fancy, cool technique. It's a really cool technique, and I feel like I've got this seam fixed up a bit. Like, that seems not bad. Now, I don't know what to do with this top edge, because I feel like, I don't know if I should try to trim any of that, but it's hard to trim it while it's on the cake, but it is lifted above. Well, it's a little bit low here, though, too, right? Yeah. So why don't you just like spread the icing over the other side? No, that's terrifying to me. Why? I feel like I'm gonna f everything up if I, oop. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna bleep that. Let's just, let's try to do this black back wedge first. Oh my God. It's not that bad. I mean, if it wasn't for like the cut in the flower and the blue on the other side, if this was already like black, you know, I don't think you'd really see it that much. And this seam ended up looking pretty good for a seam. It's not 100% where I want it to be, but I'd say it's about 80%. But I don't want to end here. Okay, so I have this idea where I could paint gold on the leaves and little stems and stuff because I want to brighten up some color. I want to add more depth to that little image. So I got some gold dust and I want to do hand painting kind of along the leaves and everything. I'm just going to mix it with alcohol. I've got vodka but I've heard you can do it with really high content, like extracts and stuff. It like really looks like liquid gold. Yeah, the way it like crinkles and moves. It's so cool. Also, I haven't worked with silk flowers before, but I couldn't find these big fluffy flowers that I wanted. I wanted big flowers on top to add more to that height and kind of grandness instead of little flowers. But these ones look really pretty expensive for silk flowers, but cute, right? I already regret my decision. Why? It's gonna look so good, but this is gonna take forever. I think I'm gonna have to play around with the consistency of the gold. Like right now, this is looking a little chunky, so I'm gonna have to thin it out and just kind of play with it, depending on how long it takes me to paint. You can see the gold, can you see how it's like hitting the light? All right, so I'm gonna add more gold to all the leaves and a little bit of the flower petals, and I think maybe some stems, and then put these big pretty flowers on top, and hopefully it all looks cute.
Other than the patch edible image work, I feel like it turned out stunning. Please make sure to like and comment down below and share this video because this was the hardest how from this to that I have done. So please share the love. I'm excited to dive into this. I feel like I worked for this slice of cake after all the headache that this cake was. I'm making sure I get those yummy chunks of brownie in there. Oh yeah. Thank you so much again to Best Beans for sponsoring this video. You guys can download the game for free using the link in the description box below to get $5 worth of gold and diamonds for free when you beat level five.